Hello, Armand. How do you do, Miss Blake? Pardon me. Has Sultan Abu Ben Ali arrived yet? Not yet, Miss Blake, but he should be here any minute. The tribal leaders are waiting for him in a suite reserved by his secretary, Mr. Muller. What's my chance of interviewing the secretary? We can ask. Welcome, Your Highness. Who is this young lady, Ernst? Miss Blake, a journalist. She wishes to interview you. Your Highness, I merely wanted to ask one question. Will the North African leaders support the United Nations or the Axis? My dear Miss Blake, no one knows what their decisions will be. They'll follow your leadership, won't they? They will follow the precepts of the Prophet. You must excuse me now. A full statement will be issued later. Thank you, Your Highness. Oh, Miss Blake, uh, Captain Lassell, telephone. Oh, thanks a lot, Armand. Get me the French diplomatic headquarters. Hello? Janet? I just received a message from Rex Bennett. Rex Bennett? But he was killed in Stalingrad. Obviously, the report was false. He's in Berlin, and he has learned that German agents are plotting to assassinate the Sultan because he favors the United Nations. Can you get to the Sultan and warn him? Oh, I'm sure I can. Did Rex give you any details of the German plans? No, only what I've told you. All right, I'll call you later. Here are the complete files on the North African situation, Your Highness. I must see the Sultan again. No one may see His Highness now. It's a matter of life or death. Let the young lady enter, please. Your Highness. I've just been informed by an American secret agent in Berlin that German assassins are planning an attempt on your life. Ridiculous. Perhaps. Perhaps not. At any rate, I thank you for your warning. Can you tell me any more about the plot? No, but I may receive further details later. Please, keep me informed. And now you must excuse me, my conference is waiting. Certainly. Do you believe her story? I don't know. Still, we must see that proper precautions are taken. I know, Milo. And thanks to our concealed microphones, we heard everything the girl said. We'll attend to that later. Come. Keep him downstairs. We may have to force some information out of him later. Yeah. 
authority. Your gracious highness. Now we shall execute our master plan. Announce me to the sheiks. Then the radio bell in and tell them what the girls said about the American spy there. Hi, Hitler. Hi, Hitler. By the grace of Allah, His Highness, the Sultan Abu Ben Ali. Headquarters, Berlin. It's very important that I have just the right agent for this mission. You couldn't pick a better man, Herr Hauptmann. Look at his excellent record. He's responsible for the death of Rex Bennett. So? It was he who killed the famous American agent. Splendid. Send him in. This is Agent G-27. Sending you to Africa to take the first step in undermining the United Nations position there. Yes, Herr Hauptmann. We have perfected a master plan. You've heard of the Dagger of Solomon? Yes, it's an ancient symbol revered by all Muslims. It disappeared a generation ago. That dagger is in our hands. In its hilt is the key to the tomb of Kublai al baida the ancient Muslim leader. The Arabs believe that when the dagger is found and the tomb is open, they will find a message which will guide their course in war and peace. To make certain that they will find a suitable message, our experts have prepared a scroll written in ancient Arabic on antique parchment. It advises all Muslims to follow the sign of the swastika. He will take the dagger and scroll to our Casablanca agent. He will open the tomb secretly and insert the scroll. Then he will turn the dagger and key over to the Arabs. Proceed now to the National Archives where Colonel von Rader will hand you scroll, dagger, and final instructions. Yes, Herr Helpman. Von Ramler's report just came in from Casablanca. It's being decoded now. Good. Here's a dagger of Solomon and the scroll of Kubla el Baida. I swear that scroll is as ancient as the dagger. Well, the dagger is a beautiful specimen of Arabian art. The scroll is a perfect example of German ingenuity. The captured American plane is waiting for you at Göring Airfield. You can fly it into Casablanca without being challenged. You will deliver this to. Just a minute. Von Rader speaking. Von Romner just reported from Casablanca that an American agent is among us. We have checked the credentials of the man who is with you. They are forged. We have reason to suspect he is Rex Bennett. Arrest him. Yes, sir. Don't move. Our plans have changed, Mr. Rex Bennett. Put it down.
Ready for my takeoff? Yes, hey, Captain. I've kept it warmed up. A reward for your efficiency. To victory. Victory! Rex, what have you been up to? And how in the world did you get into Berlin? Well, that's a long story. Let's get down to business first. Did you get my messages about the Sultan? Yes, but so far, nothing has happened. The Sultan is here in Casablanca, conferring with the tribal leaders. Good. Can you bring them together for a meeting with me? It could be arranged through the diplomatic corps, if it's really important. It's important, all right. I'm going to expose the biggest hoax that Berlin has ever tried to put over. Very well. I shall arrange a meeting at the Hotel Internacional in the morning. Mr. Bennett, are you prepared to offer any tangible proof of this so-called German plot to deceive my people? Yes, Your Highness. I have in my possession the Dagger of Solomon and the Forged Scroll. You have them with you? No, I wasn't sure it would be wise to show them publicly. I have no secrets from my sheiks. In that case, I can have them brought here immediately. Can I use your phone? Certainly. Connect me with room 104, please. Room 104. Go there at once. Hello, Janet. This is Rex calling from the Sultan's suite. Pierre will be there in a few minutes. Give him the dagger and scroll. Your Highness, if you'll excuse me. him at my office. You should have seen the look on the Sultan's face when I told him the dagger and scroll had been stolen. He probably thought you never had them at all. Well, that's just it. He seems to think the whole thing was a scheme to discredit Germany and unless... Yes? Well, yes, Pierre. Fine, we'll be right over. Pierre trailed the thief to the Tropical Fruit Company warehouse in the riverfront. We've got to get there and help.
Pierre's. Something must have gone wrong. Stay here. If anyone tries to get away, stop them. This will bring you two. Hold it. Janet. What happened to the other one? He escaped in a motorboat. The scroll and the dagger. He gave them to the captain on the riverboat. It left just before he got here. Headed for Sedala. If I take the shore road, I may be able to stop it. Be careful. The boat is loaded with munitions and explosives for Nazi agents. All the more reason for stopping it. Take care of him, Janet. carefully. If we should hit a reef with all those explosives aboard, we'd blow up. Dagger and scroll. Order your pilot to head back for Casablanca. 